Right, hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing how I made this turret, or uh, more specifically I'm going to be showing the kind of contours of the base of the turret. The details are all fairly simple operations, so I'm not going to really go into any depth on them, other than um, that this is what they look like when it's all done, because the turret without them kind of looks a bit bland. So the way I'm going to do this is in the past I've done a lot of like just kind of doing things live, which... I think it's probably a better approach for completeness, but there's a lot of fine tuning with doing contours like this, which makes it a little difficult to do in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm gonna be going through my feature tree and showing what I did retroactively to um, speed things along and hopefully still get the general idea. So the way I always start my models is, well, this is like before you start anything, I put a schematic down. This is really important, at least for me, because I can't really eyeball things particularly well. So being able to have some reference to trace is very important. So when I started, I um, just went ahead and drew and made it invisible. But this is um, kind of just a block tracing the side view, getting a nice sort of um, curve that models the top um, and bottom as well as the front and back of the turret um, geometry and this is kind of relevant in the middle obviously it kind of tapers down on the sides so I'm gonna have to account for that but that's not too difficult as I'll show so this is sort of the first step is just doing a side trace and extruding it to have a curve these well they're not curves they're surfaces yeah surfaces that um, represent the top and bottom faces of the or sides of the turret and then what I do is I go and I draw these um, curves so these are I'll show them down here to kind of show what I did so you can see that I traced sort of the top what matches with the top face here or top plane not plane geez that's not, definitely not a plane the top um, surface as well as the bottom surface um, a little hard to see let's see um, so this um, curve or closed loop and this closed loop that are only half the turret since I find it's easier to get well it's obviously easier to get symmetry if you do half the thing and then mirror it rather than trying to do the full thing with um, equal relations that just would be annoying and then what you do is use um, this function so there's um, sorry curves project curve and what that will look like is you, um, I'll just show the case I did for one but you um, project your curve onto the top kind of um, surface that your block showed as well as doing the same thing for the bottom here and what that allows you to do is you're kind of blocking out the um, or not really blocking out but you're kind of defining the boundaries of your turret or of your geometry so if I hide this solid body and I hide the schematic no nope, not normal too if I hide the schematic, so suppress it, you can see that these kind of represent the curvature of the turret from different perspectives, well, from all perspectives. It's um, 3D, and these are what the bottom kind of lines or surface sketches. Gosh, wow, I'm struggling. Um, these sketches look like. Um, I drew the middle plane that's not too relevant and then um, what I did is a boundary surface so the way the boundary surface works is you literally just select bottom or, or top you could do it in either order but you select one of these closed loops then select the other and then you draw kind of a point so you can see that this kind of changes the surface slightly not too big a deal you just kind of um, it draws the line here and kind of extrapolates that through to um, build the whole surface so wherever you put this, um, you just want to make sure that you're kind of minimizing the number of seams. So if you do something like really obnoxious, you have these seams. So you just want to kind of put it somewhere where those aren't as prominent. And then I have these guide curves. So the first guide curve is here, um, just to get it to kind of loop around in the proper way. Same with the back, get it to loop around in the proper way. So that's this. And then um, that's basically how that works is you just do those operations and then you get this um, sort of side, this is sort of the main structure of the turret honestly. You just need to uh, um, fill in the top and bottom now and then make it a solid. So to fill in the top and bottom I'll start with the top, although it's the same operation. 
it appears that I broke it by um, changing the sketch, so I'm going to just quickly undo that. Okay, so I ended up doing a little bit more of an intensive fix of that. So what happened is when I did this boundary surface and when I modified it, it def redefined um, like where everything was. So when I went and continued, all my stuff was referencing things that were no longer in the same place and it just blew up. So I fixed that. But then I forgot to um, <laughs> I forgot to go back and re um, describe how I did some stuff. So I'm going to do that now and kind of splice this into the middle, so it will be a bit jarring. But hopefully it um, explains everything, which is the goal. So what I do is I do a surface extrude. This is where I skipped mentioning. So I'll just do it real quick. So a surface extrude where you just select um, the um, contour that you want to um, extrude, which is this um, edge right here. Hopefully I didn't just break it. And then, um, so that's just the top edge that was open. And then you just extrude it up to the surface that is the boundary surface that you defined. And by doing that, you get this um, cap, essentially. And you do the same thing for the bottom to get the bottom cap. And that's um, how you do that. And then when you go, when you have that done, you go to surface knit. And if you um, look at this, you um, select all the faces or all the surfaces. And then you just um, merge entities and create solid. And that will turn it from a, um, I'll show you the difference. So this is what it looks like when it's um, not a solid. You can see that it's hollow um, with infinitely thin walls because they're surfaces, not walls. But when I knit it and make it solid, it is now a solid, which is what you want for 3D printing. So now I'll splice back into what I had already recorded. Okay, so I fixed that by undoing the changes I made there as part of the demonstration. So now I'm doing these fillets that kind of just round off the edges because you can see that they're sort of rounded. It's blurry, but they're definitely rounded. Like this is more obvious. There's a curvature here. So I just do a bunch of fillets. What is this sketch? Okay, yeah, this sketch is what I use to cut. So I um, cut this um, indent here and then just do some more fillets to um, kind of round out the curvature, literally. And, um, and then a mirror to close up the turret. And that would be how to do the very fundamental shape of it. And then um, all these operations here are doing the um, detail work just to kind of complete the whole thing. So if I drop to the end, you get the final results. I'm just going to hide these lines. Um, and if I go to make it more aesthetic, see that it's looking pretty good. So if I go to the um, top plane, it doesn't match up because I did this kind of poorly, but if I slide this over, that looks better. Um, same with the front plane. I need to shift this slightly. And this is also perspective, so that's going to mess things up a little bit, but it matches all the planes. Um, I didn't put the machine gun in because that would be a lot of work for um, something that wouldn't print nicely anyway on its own. But yeah, that's how I did this turret. So thank you for watching.